Hi, I'm Joe Barbier here with my co-host, Narasha Rani. And we're here to talk about March Madness. Uh, our first thing to talk about is the ESPN Bracket Bound app that is on the iPhone. It's an easy way to do your brackets. There it is right there. You can just click all the teams that you want to go to the Sweet 16, the Elite 8, the Final Four, and you can even pick the scores instead of printing out multiple brackets, giving them to your friends, writing them out. It makes things a lot easier for everybody. Uh, Rosh, who do you have uh, going to your finals? Uh, in my finals, uh, I think I have Lou, no, not Louisville, even though they're the favorite. I have Indiana, uh, Georgetown, Ohio State, and Michigan State. But um, my real sleeper, but not really sleeper, Michigan State beating Louisville in the final, f in the Elite Eight. Um, I think they're a strong team in the East, but I don't think they're that strong enough with little uh, March Madness tournament experience. And Tom Izzo will carry on Michigan State, he'll coach them up nice, and maybe, maybe reach the championship game. Joe, who you got? For my finals, I have Michigan State and Ohio State playing, and Georgetown, Indiana playing, and Ohio State coming out on top of Michigan State, and Indiana coming out on top of Georgetown. And also, in the final game, Indiana winning 63-58. That's my prediction. Arash, what are the sleepers in, uh, in your bracket? Um, sleepers, I'd say the toughest one would be the Oklahoma State-Oregon game. Oklahoma State being the number five seed and Oregon being the number 12. Many people predict that Oregon's going to win just because they got a bad seeding, but you never know. The Pac-10 has good rebounders, and um, Oregon could end up winning that around the round of 64. That is very true. Also that for the past 24 out of 27 years, a 12th seed has, been, has beaten the 5th seed uh, those 24 years in a row. So that's why you might want to pick a 12th seed over a 5th seed in your bracket. Uh, also, another sleeper is that Villanova, I think, is going to take down UNC. Even though that UNC is only the 8th seed and Villanova is the ninth, I still think they're going to take out UNC. And uh, Kansas is going to win the first round, but I think also Villanova will knock them out in the second round. Another sleeper is that UCLA with the 6th seed. They're going to win the first round. Florida's going to win the first round, too. But once the, that, those two teams match up, Kyle Anderson, I think, will take over, dominate, and uh, take down the Gators. Arash? Um, another team that's very good in March Madness is uh, VCU. Uh, Shaka Smart really knows how to lead his team throughout tough times in the March Madness tournament, and they go against number 12 Akron in the first round. And um, many people think that they'll play Michigan State in the round of 32. And um, Michigan being the four seed and VCU being the five seed, um, that game could really go either way. But I got VCU coming out on top and playing the winner of UNC Kansas which uh, I believe Kansas will, but as Joe said, they might lose to Villanova, so you never know. Well, there you have it, folks. Hope everyone's bracket does well. Thanks for tuning in.